Hi. Hello, I'm Jillian. Um, I'm 19 and I'm in college. Yeah. I guess I'm kind of just doing this as a way to document my whole college experience as I just finished my first quarter of my first year at a university. And um, it was it was interesting. It was a lot of fun. College is a good time, let me tell you. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's also really hard. Classes are killer. I am dying a little, but I mean, like it's it's fine. It's fine. I love my school a lot. I love everything about it. I love the people. I love the environment. I love the location. It's right on the beach. It's great. <laughs> I, I, I really like it. I do. And I'm really happy there. But it's not at all what I expected it to be by any means. It's interesting because I've always, I've always had this plan throughout my entire academic career. I've always known what I wanted to study. I've always known where I wanted to go to school. I've always known what I needed to do to get in there. And I worked really hard throughout all my years of schooling. Did, took a lot of AP classes, took a lot of time doing a lot of extracurricular activities solely for the college application. Um, I sacrificed myself to get in to where I wanted to go to, which I don't regret at all. It was, <laughs> it was a good time, um, but it's, it's funny because you have this plan, I had this plan, and I've always followed the plan. And getting into my, my school was security. I had always been so scared of doing all this stuff and not being enough and not getting in and my plan not, you know, my plan not working. I was so scared of my plan falling through and not being able to pursue it because that was what I wanted. That's, that's what I wanted for myself. That was my future. That was everything. I just needed to get into the school and I was set. And that was, that was my whole mentality getting into my number one. I was ecstatic. I was, I was in shock, first of all. Um, I was over the moon. I could not believe it. And my parents were so proud of me. My family is so supportive of me. And I am forever thankful for it. But it's funny because you get there with that plan still in your head, you know? And then once you get going, you realize that the plan isn't isn't always going to work. It's not that my plan isn't going to work, because I'm sure it will at this point. It's just that I don't know if it's what I want anymore. And I'm vulnerable because of that. Not really vulnerable, but it's just not me. It's, it's not really what I'm used to. It's out of the norm for me. You know, I've always, I've always been a planner and someone who's really obsessed with thinking things through for the future because I need that safety in my life. You know, you get there and you're just like, well, maybe this isn't what I want anymore. I have a confession. <laughs> I write music and it's not really something that I tell people about. And a lot of my friends don't even know. I don't think my 
family even knows. They might know, but they've never heard any of my music. And that's because I don't really tell people about it. Music is my release. It's my my way of venting about things. It's my mode of expression. Cause I'm not I'm not a real emotional person, you know, I don't really like show a ton of emotion to people just just because that's just not my personality. You know, some people there's a fine line between being dramatic and being, you know, very, very, uh, what's the word? Just like expressive about things and reacting to things and being emotional. Being emotional is completely different. Being emotional is showing people what you're feeling on the inside and you don't necessarily have to be dramatic to do that. I'm just, I'm not an emotional person. I don't really show that to people. So I've always kept it very, very personal that um, I write music because I write about things that are very personal and I write about my feelings and I write about things that I don't really, you know, talk about because I, I can't really talk about it. Well, it's not that I can't, it's just it's not easy for me to talk about things. It's so much easier for me to play it or to write about it. You know what I mean? So, that's that. And over the past three months of being in college, I've written so much music and I did not expect it and that means that I've written about a lot of feelings and I've needed to vent a whole lot which isn't a bad thing it's a lot of fun it makes me happy it's where my passion lies you know neuroscience is fun and all and it's really interesting it's really intriguing and I think it's, it's so cool and so awesome and mind-blowing and just I just it's, it's freaking awesome but I'm not passionate about it the thing is I don't want to end up 40 years old working a job that I've lost interest in I don't want to end up with a career but no time to enjoy anything I don't want to end up making a lot of money but having no one to appreciate it with. I don't want to end up, you know, regretting not pursuing something I'm passionate in, I'm passionate about. I guess what I'm saying is I don't know what I want anymore at this point in my life. And so I guess this is kind of my way of finding out. So, if you found this, um, hi, nice to meet If you know me already and you found this, that's a little creepy because <laughs> you've done a little research and like I'm flattered and all, but, but I mean, if you don't know me, then hello. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I guess we're gonna find out.